Hi guys, welcome to your Leavers Assembly. I think it's probably right that we start at the front of the school. Um, probably one of the first things you saw. Maybe you came for a little visit. Uh, maybe you came along with your parents to the evening. I think it would have been Mr Mitchell Innes, um, but I think I would have been there too. And you would have got yourselves to here, to big school, for the very first time. But on your first day, you wouldn't have come through this entrance. You'd have come through to come through this entrance. The wonderful world of Year R. And we were waiting for you with lots of fun things to do. So, you should recognise this playground, your very, very first playground. And what a fun time you had here. In fact, lots of you have got some lovely memories, some of your very first memories of being at school. Sometimes even your first day that you can remember, which is brilliant and we found some cracking photos of your first few years at school. What a lovely lot. Have a look at these and then have a listen to what you can remember about your first few times at school. My name is Harrison and today I would like to tell you about my first day. My first day at Highs wasn't like anyone else's. I didn't start until December as originally I was at Marchwood Infant School. On my first day I remember clinging on tight to my mum as I went down the Year 3 and 4 corridor. After that I remember looking through the glass into Miss Perry's class feeling frightened and worried because back then I was very shy and never spoke to anyone unless it was a member of my family. After looking through the glass, I remember putting on a high-vis jacket and going off to play with the sand and the giant digger that they had while Miss Perry and Mum had a little chat about me. After they finished their chat, I remember taking off the jacket and going into the cloakroom and talking to Miss Perry with Mum. I also remember Miss Perry letting me pick my house and where my pe peg would go. At the end of the day, I remember saying goodbye to Miss Perry and then going home. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The first day of school in year R, I remember it like it was yesterday. I walked into the class with my two best friends by my side, Sarah and Natalie. I remember we were, were both, we were all so excited. It was break time and I went outside and sat on the grass for a little bit. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I whacked Sarah on the face with a plastic waffle because I felt like it. Sarah started crying so loud, she was so overdramatic. I, p I got put on the sad face and I remember I was thinking it was so unfair. Before I knew it, it was lunchtime and everyone had burst out of the classroom and started eating lunch. Once we had all finished, Saren and I were playing hairdressers, but before I knew it, it was my turn to do her hair. Saren shut her eyes and, started, and I started cutting her a fringe. It was going so well until she moved and, I cut, and the cut went wonky. Once again, she told on me and I had to miss out on the rest of lunch. I got banned from scissors for the rest of the year because my mum went in and said that I was not allowed to use them for the rest of term. I could tell Sarah didn't feel bad though. My first memory was when we were at Longdown Dairy Farm in Year R and Miss Ivory, Molly's mum, was my group leader. We were collecting chicken eggs and a very impolite chicken came up to me and pooed on my arm. I never told anyone until I got home roughly two and a half hours later. I had to have a bath that night. <laughs> When I started reception, I met my first friend, Tom Evans. We did a lot together. We decided one day to make a house out of blocks. We did a lot of games and, act and activities together. One day, Father's Day came, and we all made wraps in, in Miss Perry's classroom. They were great. They took about 30 minutes to make, but they were awesome. And my mum said, you'll be okay because you make loads of friends and I didn't want to leave her but she was right, I made loads of friends and I've enjoyed it ever since. 
I remember when I went to Long Derwent to the farm, I saw pigs, cows, chickens and much more. We all went on tra- a tractor. I also remember the nativity play we did in Year R. I was a donkey and we did the dance. I still remember the start of the day and for having good behaviour, I was proud. I can't remember my first day in Year R, but I do have a few memories. I can remember when the pirate ship was first built in the playground and I used to always play in it and be the lookout. I also remember the carpet with all the shapes in it when we sang the number song. I love Year R as there was no reason to be sad and the activities were so fun. If I could, I'd stay in Year R and never leave. On the first day of school, I remember I was walking into the classroom with my friends, Hannah and Natalia. After a lot of hard work, it got to break time and we were all playing together, when out of nowhere, Hannah whacked me with a plastic waffle. I ran and told a teacher, then they put her on the sad face and she started crying. It was so annoying. I didn't feel bad for her though, she deserved to be put on the sad face. Soon after break, we had lunch together and Hannah and I started playing hairdressers. It soon got to Hannah's turn. I closed my eyes, but soon after I felt hair on my hand. I immediately opened my eyes and saw that Hannah had cut me a fringe. It was really bad. It looked terrible. My best memory in year one would probably be meeting Seth and Orlando and getting to play shopkeepers. The reason I like to play the reason I the reason I like to play shopkeepers is because I I was always the owner and I could tell them to get out of my shop. The day I walked into Mrs. Sison's class, I was so excited. My mum took me in. That was when I saw it, the train set. I didn't say goodbye to my mum, I just ran towards it. It felt like all my worries had gone away. I knew someone there, Louis. I loved it that day. I made no friends. However, as the year went on, I made loads of them. My favourite memory is when Orlando, Leon, Jamie and I were playing frisbee and Leon threw it on the roof. And it was the best day ever and it's probably still up there. On my first day, it was scary because I was going to meet new people. I was so used to preschool, but when I got there, it wasn't so bad, and I made new friends. When I first went to high primary school, Isaac, Patrick and I all had really long hair down to our necks. We also played with the tyres. We piled them on top of each other and climbed and hid inside them. When we went out for break, we went on the pirate ship and pretended to be pirates. It was lots of fun. I joined in year two. It was January 2015. I was in Miss Lemore's class and Miss Jackson's class. I didn't know anyone, but I had a buddy. Mackenzie at the time was my only friend, but as she was friends with Karis too, I was making friends with Karis too. I had people who liked me, but then I also had people who didn't like me and started pulling my hair. On the first day of school, I remember me, Zach and Ruby all playing together. We made a bus out of Miss Perry's chairs. We argued about who the driver should be. It's crazy because we're still really good friends now. We still argue sometimes, but we always make up. My best memory of primary school was me and my best friend Mackenzie became best friends over liking Frozen in Year R. I also remember playing with the dolls in the role play area and I wouldn't let anyone else have them except me. Sports days were the one thing I just didn't like because I always came last in the races. But it was still fun because it, we even got a nice lolly after. A funny meri- memory in year R that shocked Miss, Mrs Ison because she thought I was a very quiet child was shouting conversations to Mackenzie across the playground very loudly instead of talking close up like normal. I will miss Pipe Primary School, but I feel ready to move on now. Okay, on to the next section. Now, you're all really good at learning. You've become better and better at it over the years. And I think you've begun to realise that not all learning takes place in the classroom. And that's why I'm here in the Forest School area. One of your favourite places. A place that we all actually really, really love. Now, some of your best and fondest memories of school will happen outside the classroom or on those special days when something slightly different happens. Now, we're big fans of dressing up. We're big fans of getting outside. And actually, it goes to show when we asked you what some of your favourite memories were. Have a listen to these. Have a look at some of these lovely pictures 
of you guys just doing something a little bit different. lots of memories but these are my favourite. In year R when we were told to grab a book from one of the bookcases, put it on our heads and walk around. Year 3 when some of us in Mrs Burgess's class had to stay in at assembly and learn the vowels by chanting A E I O U around a table all assembly. Year 5 in forest week Aya said Jamie and I hid in a bush on one side of this path. There were lots of bees but we won. At Fairthorn Manor Everyone was obsessed with one of the park toys, a climbing frame that spun. Once someone spun it so fast that every, someone else fell off. They were fine though. Someone started sitting at the very top, then everyone was wanting to sit at the top. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my favourite memories. I have many amazing memories at Hive. It has been amazing. One of my favourite memories is when Mrs Pishley tried to teach me how to tie a tie, but I failed many times. Another good memory is when we went to Fairthorn Manor. It was a Tuesday night and I managed to get to sleep at half nine at night. And then the fire alarm went off. So we went outside and then back to our bed. Then five minutes later, it went off again. Simply horrible. Another thing is when I was little, when my friends and I played hide and seek, I always used to hide behind something thin like a tree or pool. My favourite memory from Hive is when we went to Avon Tyrrell and we were doing raft building. Our raft was good, but we got challenged to jump up and down on the raft and the person next to me, Leon, fell in and while he was falling, he grabbed my life jacket and pulled me in. It was even worse because the wa water was dirty and full of lily pads. Thank you for listening. My favourite memory was when Leon and I were doing Forest Week because we were having so much fun and we just felt like we were on holiday in Year 5. Another memory was when we went to Fairfield Manor in Year 5. We always woke up at 7am and played top trumps. On top of that, it was sunny and warm every single day. The paddleboarding was really fun. We were allowed to jump in into the river from our paddleboards too. Another memory is doing football at lunch break, entering football tournaments, athletics and other sports. One of my favourite memories. One of my favourite memories is when we went to Avon Tyrrell because there was a spider on the girls' floor and um, so many people were scared and um, we were all like, ah! But I went up to her and was like, oh, hello, you're so cute! Me full well knowing that I am petrified of spiders and. Um, on that day we got to do paddle boarding. Um, I didn't do the standing up part but I was so scared to do any of the other water activities but I braved it and I went in and I had the best time ever. That was one of my favourite activities that we did there and I loved how for breakfast I got to have a full English and a bowl of Cocoa Pops as well so that was really fun. I have had so many amazing memories at Hive. There have been sporting events, school plays, day trips and exciting residentials. I have really loved doing play in a day. In one play in a day on Henry VIII, I can remember being the first person to be beheaded for laughing at the King's tantrum. At the Avon Till residential, I can remember doing a forward roll on my paddleboard. I loved so many activities, especially the zip wire, because it was so high and it felt like I was flying. My favourite memory was when I went on the trip to Avon Tyrrell. There were so many amazing and fun activities. My favourite activities were paddleboarding and tree climbing. 
When we were paddle boarding, I fell in the lake at least five times and it was so cold. Tree climbing was fun too. Everyone in the group got two goes. On my first go, I got just over halfway up the tree. And on my second go, I was struggling on the last few steps, but everyone was cheering me on and I ended up getting up. As Molly and I were coming back from a job that Miss Brenning Jones told us to do, we went back to our set classroom and set teacher, Miss Edwards. We were alone as everyone else was lining up outside and we were told to go straight back to our classroom. When we walked into the classroom, Miss Edwards was sitting on her chair in a red Teletubby cop's fancy dress costume. It was so funny, Molly and I just bursted out with laughter. <laughs> I remember when we went to Avon Till and we went on the lake for our paddleboarding lesson. We got on the board and started the lesson. The instructor said we were going to play a game called Simon Says. He told us to do a roly-poly. No one did it except from the instructor and my friend Jacob. We did a roly-poly but turned to the side and fell straight into the lake. He got back onto the board and did another backflip into the lake. I decided to get myself wet, but not that soon into the lesson. Knowing Jacob, he would push me in, and that's exactly what he did. He came over to my board. I was standing up. He nudged me twice, and I fell into the freezing cold lake. Then a rampage started, where people were knocking each other in, and everyone was accepting their fate and falling in. At Avon Tibble, our first activity was paddleboarding and our instructors tried to flip us all so we fought back. Hannah and the instructor were the only people who didn't get wet. We tried hard to flip him but he had a big board so it was hard to flip. At one point I jumped in and tried to use my hands to flip him but it didn't work. Hannah told the instructor that she was scared of water and couldn't swim but it was a lie. The instructor and Hannah were the only people not to fall in. The first time I tried to stand up, Hannah rammed into the back of my paddleboard and I fell off. At one point, everyone made a train of paddleboards and we took it in turn to paddle. I was staying in a room with Grace, Ruby and three others at Fairfall Manor. One night I got into bed and the fire alarm went off. We all went out into the basketball court and after three minute, about three minutes we all went back inside. I fell asleep quite quickly but woke up to Miss Lawrence shaking me because the fire alarm had gone off again and I didn't, it didn't wake me up so once again we were rushed outside. I have many good memories but here are my top three favourites. At Fairthorn Manor the fire alarm went off three times in the night and Anna would not wake up. I cried the second time it went off as I thought it was a real fire. When it went off the third time, we all got fed up and when we went outside, everybody was shivering as they were in their pyjamas with no shoes on. Most people were crying. It was dangerous and scary. And when we went to Avon Tyrrell, Grace sleep, sleepwalked and I was on the top bunk. One night, she sleepwalked over to my bed, climbed up the ladder and stared at me for five minutes. I was terrified when I opened my eyes. Also at Avon Tyrrell, Grace put her watch down on the table one night and Natalia and I couldn't sleep, so we went up to it to see if we could see what time it was. We had to wake up at 8 o'clock. Her watch said that it was 7.30. So we stayed up and played with each other's hair for half an hour and then when we looked at the time, it was still 7.30. We then realised her watch had stopped we looked at the smart radiator and it was four in the morning. So for about four hours, we just played with each other's hair, top trumps and did guessing games. We were so tired later on. Um, my favorite memory is with my friends because in one more month, I have to go to secondary school and I want to see half of my, f half of my friends because I'm going to Nodeswood and they're going to Applemore so I do not get to see them do not get to see half of my friends but that's what I thought in my mind because I live near Applemore so when my dad drives by Applemore I could give them a wave wave at them if I'm lucky because they would already be gone and two of my best friends are going to Applemore and that makes me sad and I hope 
that I'm in the same college with my friends after secondary school. And I miss my, I will miss my teachers because after my teachers have done all that work that they give me every day, I am grateful because the teachers spend all their, all their time teaching me for six hours and they, and they do it every day non-stop over and over so I'm happy and I think they are happy as well. And because I'm gonna get a better future if I listen to my wait teacher and and work as hard as I can every day and then I will do good in secondary school. And I am thankful for my friends and teacher. I went from primary school is when I went on my school trip with my friends and did raft building. We were out on the lake once when I dropped my oar and then Tom uh, jumped in after it and was swimming full pelt really well in a life jacket which really surprised me. I'd like to say thank you to four teachers that really helped me. Miss O'Field, Miss Bennett Jones, Miss Lawrence and Miss Rosie. I'm going to miss everyone. Bye! So here we are. Back inside school, at the office, is my office. I don't think I knew, at your age, what I wanted to do when I grew up. Although, I don't think many adults ever think they truly grow up. And to the office, a place that you guys, I'm sure, have visited many, many times. I know the ladies here really enjoy seeing you. Whether it be that special sticker, when that first tooth fell out, maybe. Maybe it was the bumped head, or the grazed knee, and you just needed some looking after. They're always here for you, and they loved seeing you. Now, what is it the type of things that you love? What are the things that you're gonna carry on to do? What are the things that you're looking forward to as you move on up to secondary school and beyond? Let's find out. I'm really looking forward to going to Nozel and I can't wait to be a part of their school. I'm most excited about the school trips. The one I'm most excited about is Bude because I've heard a lot of good things about it. I really like residentials because you don't have to do any work and you can find a new hobby to do. When I leave Nozod, I have a few ideas of what I want to be. A brain surgeon, a climbing instructor, someone who teaches PE or a YouTuber. At Notewood, I want to get into the school football team. I need to work hard and I have a good attitude so I don't hurt my chances. I'm looking forward to learning new sports in PE and anything to do with food and cooking. I'm also excited about going to Bude and trying new activities. When I am at Applemore, I would love to be part of a history club, if they have one. As history is my favourite subject, I love to learn history and it is inspiring me to want to become a historian. My dad and I go to historical places such as castles, cathedrals and other extraordinary things all the time. I would love to learn more about history. When I join Nosewood I'm looking forward to lots of things such as doing clay modelling, woodwork, science and PE. I'm looking forward to science because I have heard and seen a bit of one in the open day that you do science experiments and we didn't do many of them in primary school. I'm really looking forward to moving up to Appleware in September. Here are some reasons why. Making new friends, trying out clubs and going on trips. The thing I love the most is sport. It has been one of my favourite things to do inside school and out. When I grow up, I want to be an athlete and, and compete in the World Olympics. My favourite book is Skyhawk, written by Jill Lewis. I, I'm really looking forward to arriving at Appermore. Later on in life, I'd like to go swimming with dolphins because in my opinion, I think they are quite distinctive animals. They whistle to communicate and, not like many other animals, they are porpoise. I think it would be an awesome experience and one I remember for a long time. I am also looking forward to going to Applemore because there will be lots of spectacular experiences such as new clubs and sports. There will be a range of different classes I will get to do as well. 
My hopes and dreams are being part of MI6 because I shoot a gun with my dad every Saturday at Wickham and District Rifle Club. And if you are looking for an air rifle club, this is a place. My dad is a police officer, so he has taught me a few things. I would like to join the police cadets and study the police in secondary school. In my spare time, I would like to do music. I play guitar and I am a DJ. I have DJ equipment and I am really good at mixing. I'm having a shed built for me and, and it is going to be my music room. Inside is going to be drum kit, electric and acoustic guitar and DJ equipment. OK, here we are again. Back to the front door. Back to the beginning. But actually, on to your next journey. We think you've been amazing this year, the class of 2020. A historic year in many, many ways. And you have played a massive part of it. So all is left is a, a video of some of the things that you wanted to do when you were little and some of the things that you think you'd like to do now. Some of the same, but many have changed. Bye guys, I'm gonna lock up now. It's time that we all had a good summer holiday. When I grow up, I will be tall enough to reach the branches that I need to reach to climb the trees you get to climb when you're grown up. And when I grow up, I will be smart enough to answer all the questions that you need to know the answers to before you're grown up. And when I grow up, I will eat sweets every day. On the way to work and I will go to bed late every night. And I will wake up when the sun comes up and I will watch cartoons until my eyes go square and I won't care cause I'll be all grown up when I grow up When I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to hold on up with you when you're a grown up. And when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed each time to be a grown up. When I grow up, I will have treats every day, and I'll play with things that mum pretends that mum's something of. And I will wake up when the sun comes up, and I will spend your day just lying in the sun. And I won't burn, cause I'll be all grown up when I grow up. I think the ending is fixed already I might
is where we're saying, I think that it's okay. And that's not right. When I grow up, I will be tall enough to reach the branches.